good, right? So, let's talk about season two. It looks like 22 episodes, there's a greater chance to dig into some of the characters that we're kind of bring to this Yeah, for sure. Can you talk a little bit about what we might see from Joseph, the Pussy Cats, and Kevin Keller? For sure. Uh, uh, you know, one, one of the... Kevin's first season, he was a really supportive friend. He always was cracking jokes. Uh, 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 and he was a little bit, uh, a li and and he did he did have that that subplot with Joaquin. Yeah. Um, but but because Joaquin was sort of a double agent, you really didn't get into a deep romance with him. That's one of the things we want to do. Um, episode three of the second season is very focused on Kevin, and it really does like all, with all our characters, we kind of explore the dark side of of Kevin, and 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 sort of the story. Is is what is you know what, what does Kevin do when he's not in that circle of friends, and is he doing something that is potentially dangerous? We were just talking, we were about, just talking about you. So 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 we're gonna we're gonna we get to explore that a little bit. Um, Casey actually, we all flew down yesterday, but Casey actually had to stay uh, to film episode three because he's got so much so much of it. And Josie, listen, Ashley is a star. She's a star. Uh, 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 and you know, because season one was focused on Jason Blossom and the murder, the pussy gets weren't that connected to Jason. Also, a lot of because Josie's such a driven character and she knows what she wants, which is music. It was like, oh my God, how can we tell music stories when we're trying to do this murder mystery? Sure. And now we have the room to do it. I'm also gonna, we're also gonna do something a little bit different, which is we're gonna weave Josie into the fabric of the show more. So for instance, and I don't, I don't think anyone's talking about it, but I think the okay that we can talk about it, which is that uh, Josie's gonna be a, a river vixen. Yeah. Uh, 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 and we just want her, and I, we just want her to be more of the game. Yeah. Uh, uh, that I would say if I had one big regret from season one is that we didn't get to uh, uh, to explore those secondary characters like Josie and Kevin. So considering all the episode titles have been based on like thrillers in season yeah. one, is episode three called "We Need to Talk About Kevin"? Oh, that's a really it, you, that is a t title that we that is absolutely a title that we no we called it what do we watch it. Woods, yeah, yeah. which is like that that old okay. like Disney mm -hmm. terrifying yeah yeah yeah, yeah but but we definitely definitely yeah we definitely talked about that and, and there might even be a line in the script that says we need to talk about Kevin I can't remember but we talked about that terrifying movie. Yeah. yeah so tell us a little bit about what you get to do in the season um, I'm gonna do a lot in the season um, mostly um, kind of dive into all the things that we established last season what's underneath all that, um, including relationship with Betty, actually in the first few episodes, which is a big one for me that I'm really excited to dive into, because I feel like halfway through all of a sudden, season one, where we, we weren't as close anymore, um, diving into the relationship with, with, with my father, which is very exciting one, and uh, dive in a weird way, as cliche as it sounds, dive into Kevin's relationship with himself, um, which then influences those two characters specifically, I'd say, so um, just figuring out what makes Kevin tick, and, um, yeah. And there's a there's a there's a little bit of um, you know one storyline that 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 from first season is Kevin and Moose's right you know relationship or what and and uh, uh, we do explore that a little bit I think in a nice surprising way okay uh, 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 That's beautiful. yeah um, the last question oh sorry someone else wants to take it um, uh, now that Joe has seen me you know uh, uh, South High Serpent are we going to see more of what he's it's a really good question. I mean, you know, I think Joaquin got on that bus to San Junipero, and it's going to take a lot to bring him back to Riverdale, but, and it was to San Junipero, by the way. Oh, I caught that. Yeah, good, good. Uh, but you know what, I, I listen, I said this to every single actor, even actors who died. I mean, characters who've died, I was like, never say never in Riverdale, and, the, and, and, and there are always ghosts that come back to haunt them. So, is it possible Joaquin will come back? Yeah, it's, anything's possible. It is yeah. kind of a beautiful, beautiful button on that love, our really weird love that we had to kind of watch him go in the bus. And I think he does come back to really cool, but there is something kind of like, people watch, about watching teenagers move on, well, and get it out and be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, learning the other thing is, like, I, I mean, things have changed since I was a teenager, but like, it, you know, you didn't date someone and What's then be like, and then be like, we're going to get married. You know, like, you like, 
he did kind of go on dates, and then it was, you know, it wasn't the one, and then you had other dates, and so, uh, so we always want to do that as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.